the Hyperloop, a speed of sound braking train that could one day replace planes. Welcome to Power the Future where I talk about everything new in tech, automation, and space. Every week there are new and amazing things happening in the tech world and I will share this with you. The Hyperloop is a prototype transport system that will reach speeds of more than Mach 1. This is due to many factors, but the main one is that there is no air resistance. You may think that there will always be air resistance on Earth, but you are incorrect. If we place any object inside an air vacuum tube, meaning no air inside, there will be no air resistance. With no air resistance, the train has nothing slowing it down except will resistance. The Hyper has a similar design to a maglev train. It will hover slightly above the ground using incredibly strong magnets. These magnets will also be used to pull the train forward. If you would like me to talk about how this technology works in another video, tell me in the comments. When there is no air resistance in the Hyperloop tube and there is no wheel resistance, the Hyperloop can't really be stopped unless the brakes are engaged. This form of travel could replace planes if we built Hyperloop tubes on the ocean floor, but building on land would be much easier. This would be a great way to transport people from one side of a landmass to the other side. This is not the Hyperloop's only function because you can have passenger carriages as well as cargo carriages. This could revolutionize the cargo industry, packages could arrive faster, products could be on shelves in no time, and produce could get across the world in time to stay fresh. This Hyperloop would be 100% eco-friendly because all power needed to use the electromagnets on the Hyperloop would come from solar panels on the top and sides of the airtight tube. This form of transport could not only replace the carbon dioxide monsters, planes, but also trains. The Hyperloop would go 10 times faster than the average train and would produce a more comfortable and safe ride. A working Hyperloop has been built and tested by Virgin, Richard Branson's Airplane and Space Agency. This was a small prototype compared to a real Hyperloop and only carried two people. The test went flawlessly and made the idea of a worldwide Hyperloop system more reasonable. We are all excited to see what the Hyperloop could be in the future, but right now we have to wait and see how it develops. This is the Hyperloop and thank you for letting me power the future.